just making sure you're in a comfortable position and just checking in with your posture and your physical body as we start and just how your body is feeling maybe getting a little some kinks out or something doing some twists or any movements that your body is wanting to take before we get into a place where we feel comfortable enough to stay still so as you get into that position if you're in a space where you feel safe to do so you can let your eyes close at any time and you can mark your arrival to this practice today with a full deep cleansing breath a slow inhale in through the nose and exhale to let all of that go and even once you think you're empty, see if you can just push a little bit more air out of you and just truly empty yourself and pause in that emptiness. Allowing the next breath to come naturally as it needs to. Mm. And starting to just check in with your forehead and just notice what your resting forehead is like, what the muscles tend to rest into. And most of us kind of rest with some amount of tension still in the face. And just by being aware of that tension, we are allowed to soften it. So bringing a conscious sense of relaxation to all the muscles across your forehead, across your eyebrows. <sighs> conscious sense of relaxation to your jaw and just allowing your jaw to hang heavy. And by relaxing the jaw, you'll notice the rest of the face will start to soften as well. So the lips, the nose, the cheeks. And notice how the softness across your face affects your breath and your breathing. Maybe the breath follows suit and is a little bit more relaxed, a little bit deeper and slower. And see if you can almost see or imagine all the muscles across your face, all the muscles that are in between you know, your bones and the skin. And just allowing all of those muscles to lean back to let go, to um, grow a little bit of space in between the bones and the muscles. And just allowing the sense of acceptance to spread throughout the muscles. Knowing that there's no need to hold anything up, there's no need to hold any specific expression. And just allowing any expression on the face to melt away with the tension. And notice if your mind is being active while you're doing this, or notice any thoughts that are popping up, any opinions or judgments on what you're feeling, on what you're hearing. And simply by noticing that judgments or opinions or just other intrusive thoughts might be popping up just by noticing that they are there and not identifying with them we automatically come back into the practice and throughout this practice the mind is it will wander to the past or to the future or both kind of just jumping between the two thinking about anything 
at all that happened before this exact moment, so even the beginning of the practice, or wandering to the future and thinking about anything at all that is yet to come. And know that this is what the mind does, the mind will wander. And a meditation practice is not about controlling the mind, it's not about making the mind stay in any certain state. It's about observing the mind and the states it wanders to and the body and how the body is feeling and that connection between the mind and the body. And so stepping away from that idea of maybe control that you might have or you might have had before and into one of allowance, observance, witnessing, knowing that there is nothing that is required for you to do. There is no doing with this practice. All that is asked of you is to sit back, to watch, to feel, and to allow. Even if there are unpleasant sensations in the body or unpleasant thoughts in the mind, not pushing those away or pushing those down deeper inside of you. Because we often think if something unpleasant bubbles up from inside of us, if we just push it back down and don't look at it, it'll be okay and we'll eventually forget about it. But that often has the opposite effect. And when things bubble to the surface and when emotions, tears or um, anger or anything bubbles to the surface, all that's being asked of you is to let it and to let it release, let it move through its process. And by pushing it back down deeper inside of us, it just has more space to echo and to kind of silently control us. So just letting the emotions, letting the thoughts and the feelings be just like storm clouds. They, they will come. Some days they'll come and it'll rain for three days like what we're experiencing now where I am in Massachusetts. And Sometimes it'll just be a random storm in the middle of the day and be beautifully sunny on either side. And sometimes it's a really intense storm that lasts about 10 minutes and then it moves on. And our emotions and thoughts, feelings are in a similar way. So just letting them come and go, letting every storm run out of rain no matter how long it takes, it will eventually run out of rain. And just trusting the storm, trusting the emotions that you experience, trusting no matter how unpleasant they feel in the moment, that they will be over, they are meant to be felt, and feeling the things that might be more unpleasant is just what allows a greater contrast between the pleasant and joyful things in your life. It allows you to experience joy a bit more fully with more gratitude. So just resting your attention back on your face and just noticing once again, the muscles of the face, noticing if anything has shifted, if maybe some more tension has crept back into the forehead or the jaw, or notice maybe more relaxation crept in. Just notice wherever you're at. And then just allow that same sense of release to spread across your hairline, across your scalp, your ears, across the whole skull and trickling down the throat and the neck. 
so that your whole head feels this sense of security and the sense of release. And letting the shoulders soften down and away from the ears. Noticing where your heart is located in relationship to your head. And just tracing that space between your heart and your brain. Maybe your heart is kind of curled back within that cave of your shoulders and your chest. And maybe it's kind of pushing out a little too far and the back of your heart is sacrificed. So just find that middle ground so that the shoulders are aligned with the heart. The heart is proud and secure within the front and back of the chest, the rib cage, and just tracing that space between the heart up through the throat. Maybe your chin is kind of lifted and the neck is sacrificed. So just having a slight tuck in the chin, so feeling length in the back of your neck. Up through the throat and into the skull, into the brain stem and the brain itself. And just reminding yourself of the reality of your anatomy and that internal connection that is real between your heart and your brain. Remembering that your heart, where all your love, your compassion, gratitude is all stored, has the power to feed into your mind, to allow yourself to see, to feel, all sides of a situation. And allow your shoulders, your collarbones, your upper arms, lower arms and hands to all be heavy and soft. And feeling like all the muscles down the arms are ungripping from the bones. And just allowing the full weight of your arms to exist. Allowing all the muscles in the hands to release. Allowing for the natural curving of your fingers to exist. And to start to tune in to the center of your palms. Maybe starting to feel a slight pulsing sensation. Just reminding yourself of the pulse in your arms and your hands. And if you're having trouble feeling, you can even take your own pulse. Take two fingers and place that on the opposite wrist and just remind yourself of the pulse that is here. And tracing that anatomy between the hands and the heart, all of those veins and blood vessels that are connecting your heart to your hands. Just remembering that your hands have the same power that your heart has. Your hands have the power to create things out of love, to feel things, to heal things. And it can all be done with the energy from your heart. And Feeling your rib cage, really just hugging your chest and your lungs, your heart, protecting yourself, feeling the skin hugging the rib cage, 
I'm just feeling all of that compression, all of that hugging feeling and shape that is required for your body to exist. How your bones are being hugged by the muscles, which are being hugged by the organs and the blood being hugged by the skin. Feeling your stomach soften and the muscles in the abdomen just hugging the organs. Feeling that natural protection that you always have just by your own body that was given to you at birth. Even before birth, the protection of the womb. There's all of the hugging protection that is always inside you, always around you, even when we don't feel it. Feeling the connection between your heart and your stomach and that heartbeat that exists within your stomach. Feeling your pelvic floor, noticing any tension here in the glutes, in the area of the genitals and the anus, and just all the tension that we can sometimes hold here without realizing it at all. We can think we're fully relaxed, and then just by checking in, we can realize we're holding a lot of tension still. The glutes, the hips, the upper legs, just allowing the same sense of softness from your face to naturally spread and trickle down into the legs now. Going past the knees into the lower legs, into the feet, the toes, maybe feeling that heartbeat that exists within your feet. As you remember the connection, the reality of the anatomy of your body, the connection between your heart and your feet, how blood from your heart is reaching your toes. Your feet have the power to move you, to walk, to run, to dance and play. All power is from your heart. And as you're tuning into the feet and the legs and the glutes, the root of your spine, the whole base of your body, your root chakras, as you're tuning in, just noticing any sense of safety or lack thereof. In the world we're in, especially today, there can be an overwhelming feeling of a lack of safety or a lack of stability. Kind of like we don't really know what the next step is. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And that idea can really rob us of our sense of safety. And... Sometimes there is a reality to that. Sometimes a feeling of lack of safety is requiring, as a message, it's requiring some sort of action from you. So really give yourself the space to feel that and let those messages or um, action requests, I guess, to come up. 
Sometimes we can know what we have to do, but really don't want to do it, so we just ignore it and ignore it until we can't ignore it anymore. So if that's where you're at, just let that be the case. And just choose to sit and listen, knowing that you don't have to make any decisions right away. You don't have to make uh, an action step just because you're acknowledging that that's what's being asked. And just give yourself that time and that space to contemplate that, to think of all the different sides of that, even if it scares you. And sometimes our feeling of a lack of safety is more societal and just, it's going to be there. It's, um, but ultimately, we can rest in that knowing that we are safe. We are, we are truly held and supported by our bodies. Just think about how safe your organs are inside of you, how protected your insides are just by your own skin. And maybe your skin is your safety, and that is beautiful. Know that you are held by the earth. You are completely safe on this earth. This earth is keeping you here so that you don't go drifting off into space. The earth is holding you. The stars above you, the sun is feeding you. You have everything that you could possibly need or want. And just reminding yourself of that reality. And also validating the other aspects of reality. And noticing if anything's being asked of you. Or if all that's being asked is to feel. To look at the discomfort maybe and knowing that that is enough and sometimes other things that can come up when we remind ourselves that we are safe we are deeply safe is maybe a sense of worthiness of that safety or lack of maybe we feel a sense of guilt or maybe we just automatically turn the attention to others who maybe don't have the safety that we have and knowing that that is valid those feelings are completely valid and at the same time we are worthy of what we are given and not by any anything special that we are. It's not like we did anything specifically to deserve whatever privileges we have, but we must accept them and move from them and use them to help others, use them to grow ourselves and our communities and the love that's around us. Just looking at whatever privileges you have, knowing that even your heart beating is a privilege, the fact that you can see, the fact that you can hear what I'm saying is a privilege, and just using those privileges to as privileges, as that extra boost to spread whatever message you're meant to spread, whether that is one of love, of action, of motivation, whatever you are here for, only you know that answer. Just allowing yourself to be helped, allowing the help that was given to you to serve you, knowing that you are worthy of that help just because you've received it and just because of what you will do, what you will create from that how you will share that and spread that and give those same privileges to others.
And tuning into your heartbeat once again. This is the unique rhythm of your heart. And maybe feeling how you can feel this heartbeat all throughout your body. You can feel it in the base of your spine, the space in between the sit bones at the root. You can feel it in your lower stomach, your sacrum, that whole sacral space. You can feel it in your stomach, just above the navel. You can feel it in your heart, of course, in your throat center, in the space between the eyebrows, and in the very tip of your head. Just allowing yourself to witness the miracle that is your body and your pulse, your heartbeat. Allowing all that love from your heart, all that support, all that self-compassion for what you've been through, what you're going through, what you will go through, all that gratitude for the same. Just allowing all of that to naturally take over your body. Allow your body to fully soften and relax with this sense of safety, the sense of love. And as you feel that love just spreading from your heart, you'll notice that it naturally spreads even past the barrier of your body, even through the skin. And that love has the power to spread to all the people around you, all the people who witness you, all the people who you speak to and help, and all the people who help you. Just remembering how we are all individuals, we are all responsible for our own sense of self and well-being and at the same time we are all connected to that sense of love and well-being in the people around us. We all have access to that same sense of peace, that same room within us that is connected to the reality of love, of peace, presence. And just allowing all of these feelings to settle within you. Allowing the skin to accept these messages, the muscles, the bones, the organs, just allowing yourself to feel the love and to let it soak into your cells even. Trusting that it's already inside of you and that any message you heard today that resonated with you, it's because you already knew it to be true. Mm. You learned no new information today. It was all just reminders of things you already know. And that feeling of resonation is the proof of that. Your body knows it to be true. And anything that did not resonate will naturally just fall away. There's nothing to worry about. If it feels like something you want to do, you can place your hands um, either at heart center or anywhere on your body, just trusting where your hands want to go. But just feeling your hands make contact with something and just feeling 
the pulse of your hands, reminding yourself of your hands' power to heal, of your hands' connection to your heart. Reminding yourself that your body is here, it is alive, it is breathing, and that that in itself is enough to be truly and deeply grateful for. As you take a deep and full and conscious breath into the body, allow yourself to really fill up with this air. And as you exhale, you can allow your head to slowly bow. As you just bow to your maker, your creator, the one who is allowing your heart to beat in the first place, whatever source of energy that is to the love and support that's always around you, your ancestors, angels, spirits, guides, whatever name you might have. Bowing to everyone in this space who's completed this practice alongside you. And most importantly, bowing to yourself for taking the time and for showing up, for taking the time for this true act of self-love and self-care. May this act continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights. May you bring the same love and understanding into everything that you do and to everyone that you see. Namaste.